All right. So I've got a question. And this is a question that's been bugging me for years. Okay. What is rugby? It's a, it's a sport that's evaded me for like so long. I mean, I've watched bass fishing. We just called us a bass. Extreme bass fishing. Please stop jumping. Please stop. Please stop. I've watched, uh, I saw Baby Boy on ESPN. I've seen extreme tag. I've I've seen I've seen so many things, but I don't I still don't know what rugby is. All I see is people hitting each other. It's like it's like the only thing that comes to my mind is like this. Like damn, like what 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 is happening? What what is this? Oh, what a stomping tackle! Yes. And what is what is that? And why why are they doing that? <laughs> Real talk, what's going on? <laughs> so you I mean you get the point. And if I'm being honest with myself, it's stuff that I like. I mean, I watch football. I see people get jacked up all the time. So why haven't I watched it? And I think, I think I've come to the conclusion that I haven't watched it because I just don't understand what's going on. Obviously. So you know what? I've decided I'm done with being confused. I'm going to learn what it is. I'm going to go out and figure out what rugby is. And what is a better way to figure out what rugby is than to go straight to the source? Hi, I'm Cass Rosa. Um, I have played prop, lock, eight, flank, and a little bit of scrum half, mostly as a joke, uh, <laughs> for Eno River Rugby in Durham. Yeah, so I'm a part of Eno River Rugby, which is uh, North Carolina's oldest women's rugby team, and I would say one of the most inclusive teams um, in the South. So we were formed in the 90s, um, have been through many trials and tribulations, uh, before I was born <laughs> uh, but now we're going strong in 2023 and we have numbers like crazy coming out 30 40 uh, sipped players which uh, means we're registered with USA rugby um, so rugby is seeing a huge exponential growth in this country um, because sevens uh, has joined like the Olympic roster um, but we play 15s which is um, more popular for these clubs um, to play throughout the year. Yeah, but we play 15s rugby, which is 15 players versus 15 players for an 80 minute match. So rugby is a contact sport. It's sort of like if football and soccer had a baby, but a little more intense. So in rugby, you don't wear any sort of protective equipment except for a mouth guard. Um, and some people wear what's called a scrum cap, which is about like a quarter inch of foam, mostly to protect from cauliflower ear in the scrum or uh, ruck. Um, but other than that, the goal ultimately is to touch the ball down in your opponent's try zone. Um, and with that, you score five points. After that, um, you can do a kick for two additional points. That's the gist of it. Um, and the opposing team's goal is to stop you um, by most <laughs> means necessary um, from touching that ball down in their try zone. Um, so in order to stop that forward motion of the ball, uh, you typically stop a person from running by tackling, um, <laughs> which is most of where the contact comes in. Um, but rugby's tackling is a little bit different than football's tackling. Uh, you ideally want to aim for the hip crease um, so that somebody is collapsing safely. Whereas in football, <laughs> yeah, you're wearing a lot of equipment and a lot of people will just body you. That's not the goal in rugby. Um, so if you tackle above somebody's chest, um, it is an automatic penalty. So that's the main goal. Um, if a ball goes out of play, um, so out of the um, bounds, we call it touch. Um, the game is then reset um, by the other team who did not uh, bring the ball out of touch, um, typically by a line out or a scrum. So yeah, and a, a line out is when you throw the ball back into play um, into a lifter's hands, typically. Teams have different calls for what sort of line out play they're gonna play. Um, and a scrum is a, the eight forwards on each opposing team pushing against each other and using their legs to get the ball on their side of the field. So a scrum can happen when play needs to be reset or a penalty has happened on the field. Um, and it's your scrum when your scrum half is the one feeding the ball to your side of the scrum. So once that ball is in the scrum, you're then uh, pushing for possession while the hooker, who is in the middle front of the scrum, is trying to hook the ball back to your eight and then hopefully to your scrum half to then be thrown out to the back line. So 
it's a fight for possession. If you get a yellow card, um, you go to the sin bin for 10 minutes, which is uh, behind the try zone. <laughs> um, and you, then you have to play down a player. If you get a red card, same thing. You're um, off the field and you have to play down a player as well. Oh, a unique part of rugby is a blood sub. So if you're bleeding, um, you are allowed to come off of the field, but you have 10 minutes to stop the bleeding. Otherwise, a substitution has to be made. Uh, personally, I think 10 minutes is a really long time to stop some bleeding. At that point, I feel like <laughs> there may be a bigger issue at hand. Um, but you do have those 10 minutes uh, for the athletic trainer to get you patched up so you can go back in. <laughs> I consider rugby a lot safer than other contact sports because of the lack of safety equipment. You're a lot more aware of your body. There's stricter rules on tackling. Um, and yeah, like I said, the body awareness really has to be there because you don't have a bunch of padding and plastic in the way of where you're hitting somebody. So you really feel that contact and you know kind of when to stop. And because of that uh, lack of equipment, uh, the tackling has to be more technical um, and there's a lot of rules around tackling, not just making sure you're below the chest, but also you go down with the player. You can't just dump somebody. There's rules about how far uh, feet can go above your head when you're being tackled, so you can't flip somebody upside down. <laughs> yeah, safety to the ground is uh, of utmost importance in rugby, and you can really get dinged for that. So I consider it a lot safer um, just because of that lack of equipment, for sure. Yeah, so I started playing rugby in college um, my freshman year, my spring semester. Um, so I spent, you know, half of my freshman year of college kind of figuring out what I was doing with myself, with my community. Um, and yeah, I joined rugby in the spring uh, without having played a sport before, much less a contact sport. You know, I played some like rec league volleyball. <laughs> Um, but other than that, nothing nothing really that required so much time and dedication. But out of that came a huge community of friends and just people I knew that had my back. Um, and it's really something special to know that 40 people <laughs> in the triangle will roll up with you for anything. You know, I've had people come help me move. Um, half of my graduation was filled with my rugby teammates. Um, and it's just a place I know that I can be myself and that we work together towards a common goal. Um, and rugby in general, but you know, especially has a safe, uh, wonderful place in my heart for being such a welcoming environment with anybody with any experience level can join. And I think have a really positive experience and learn a lot about the sport, about themselves um, and grow that community. Very impressive. <laughs> and I think we came uh, just like place. super important things that I'm recording. Just <laughs> we're writing all a the check really, to <laughs> really cool. Yeah. <laughs> the fun administrative, administrative side. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff I didn't know about rugby is crazy. We all a hundred percent. If you want to run, <laughs> <laughs> we do have two wonderful coaches that also run things, but. Yeah, we don't we don't pay anybody to do anything. It's so really volunteer. Free. Labor. In fact, you pay. <laughs> I can get your team management on on film. Hi, KJ. <laughs> That's teamwork. Set. Hold. 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 So what is the? Uh... What's, what's going on here? So a scrum restarts play. Oftentimes, we're all trying to contesting for the ball. And the hooker is also trying to take their foot and hook the ball back to our side of the field, uh, which is why their feet. Like, and the ball would be in the middle here? Yes, so the, the scrum half will then feed the ball down the channel, and then you can test by sheer force pushing against each other, and the hooker is trying to hook the ball back. And then the scrum half will then take the ball out once we've won possession. Oh, you just said once we won? Once we've won possession. You know, there was no other option. Yeah. <laughs> and drive to 
falls out. Two right now, two right now. Yep. Two right now. That was too far away. Okay. Well, you gotta do the yeah, kick no again. Do the kick. We'll do. All right. So, so, <laughs> hook the ball back, and then the eight's like holding um, it here. What? Let's see if we'll there's see. a ball. <laughs> So the hooker hooks it back, and they're walking over it, and then it's at the eight, and the eight is keeping it in while also progressing up the field, because you can't meters that way. But the second, it's out anyone's game. Okay. If it's still here, um, it's still technically in the scrum, and the only person that can touch it is the scrum now. And drive two, three. And drive two, three. Yep. Damn. Did I? Yeah. All right. On me. On you. Eno two, boo. Oh, is it straight set? Good. Is it like a throw in? Yeah. Ready. On me. On you. Eno seventeen five. Nice. Okay. Let's go. is because you want to see what's going to happen. Because <laughs> if you turn your back to where the ball is, like, you're going to get hit. Because yeah. they're running through you whether you're looking at them or not. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we are doing yes. a, another line out. It is Eno's line out. <laughs> Which means we get to throw it in to our line. Okay. So the other team brought it out of bounds. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, AK Ooh. just did the most rough and tumble ass. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, oh my yes. goodness. High, high tackle? Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's like the most easiest thing you can do is tackle someone. Clavicle and up, essentially. I think they just changed the law to where it's boobs and up, yeah. or chest and up. Chest but <laughs> nipple yes, up. Yes, Cap. What's going on? Can you get to the move where the ball went out? She was on her knees where the ball was out. And now it's our ball again. The touch judge is the one with the flag. Come on, Nino. Dang. I didn't know there was so much kicking in the regular. You have to be behind the kicker. Oh, I didn't know. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, Jesse. <laughs> you are so right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was like, no. Y'all can win this. Y'all can win this. Oh, it's ours. You should win this. <laughs> it's been a day. Okay. Oh, no. Ew, five, four. Nice. Yeah. I got it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you like <tape> yeah. <laughs> 96. Y'all good? Y'all gonna make it? <laughs> I don't know. We've got like half it's an all hour left. Of playing, but there's no adrenaline. They're killing half an hour. Yeah. Like <laughs> but you realized you were like right in there. The space was there, but I knew I couldn't make the pass. Let's see if we can get one of these lineups, guys. On you! Hey, look in front! Eno! No. Two! Four! That's you, Brid. <laughs> yeah, good call, Avery. Good call. I like, ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> this is very intimidating. It is? Um, also, I'm very loud. <laughs> it's okay. Can I put it in my pocket? This is That's what we have post production for. Yeah. Can I go in this yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's special. I don't know. Why don't it's not. Can There's I, I, can, I can put it, it in like that? As long as you don't touch the red button, everything should be fine. Okay, well, then we'll put it in like this. <laughs> What's the worst thing about the dust? Like being in the dust. What First of all, it's in your mouth. Okay. okay. Also, it coats your contacts. You just can't see. Especially if you have to scrub in the dust. Absolutely not. Mm. I don't know. Maybe my mouth is just always open. That also might be a problem. You're not even in right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was 30 days. Oh, you could, you could block it? Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Damn! Oh body slam, bro. Because I said, I'm not falling. Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, if, if a player is put down. 
down safely. Okay, it looks like they're just getting jumped. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It looks like they're getting initiated. This is crazy. Uh, but you cannot, if you're tackling someone, it is your responsibility oh, to get them to the ground safely. So that you can't just like launch yourself at someone. You cannot, their hips cannot go above their shoulders. That's dumb tackling. That's, I think, a red card. Yeah. It's at least a yellow card. Are those cards? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So a high tackle, a high tackle is a yellow card. Um, dumb tackling is a yellow card. Intentional knock. Is... Intentional knock, yeah. If you just slap the ball down, that's a yellow card. You can't do that. And I'm assuming two yellows are, is a, a red. A red, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's like soccer. And if okay. it's like an egregious, they'll go straight to red. Yeah. But we don't, that doesn't oh. happen. And then you get put in the bit sin bin. yellow cards is you get 10 minutes in the sin bin. And so you're not allowed to sub that person on, so you have to play down a player for a yellow card. If they get a red, you also can't sub for that. Mm -hmm. So you have to play down a player for the rest of the game. Oh, what? Oh, for a they're putting card. a penalty box? The sin bin, the yeah. Sin. Oh, the we don't sin have like bin. a okay. physical, like in hockey, but you do get put in the sin bin. <laughs> Jasmine is eight, Miranda is flanking, Raquel is locking. <laughs> communication, W, w communication. Yeah. Uh, spam it in the chat, W communication. <laughs> So yeah, that was my rugby experience. Hopefully I learned something. <laughs> I learned a lot, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very involved sport. There's no breaks, there's no stops, it's all go, go, go. And I, I love it. Uh, I feel like what I really wanted to capture, why I didn't want to put no music with the vlog style, was to feel the intensity. You know, the Eno and everybody going crazy. You know, the hits, just the rawness of it. It was something where you could see that, not just the aggression, but just like how real the sport is. And then speaking of just like the, you know, River Rugby Club, man, rugby is about community <laughs> is what I learned. I, I didn't expect to learn that, but man, sports is so much about community a lot of times, but this was like, this is more than sports. This is, this was something where these people genuinely love each other and um, really enjoy being around each other and sharing stories, sharing great times. Um, is really meaningful and I was so happy to be a part of it to be involved with it I'm a big fan I'm gonna buy some merch <laughs> y'all got me bruh dang I'm already broke with doing these doing these documentaries and now y'all got me buying merch you know I loved it had a great time and uh you know hopefully I'll learn something you know because I know I did so I'm gonna see y'all whenever you know what I mean